what I have the pleasure of putting under the spotlight three people who are with us today. Andrew Rossendale, who is our Member of Parliament for Romford, and Myatt, who is the Chief <coughs> Executive Officer of Romford Autistic Group Support, known as RAGS, and Ivan Kalia, who is the founder of UK Autism Foundation. Thank you for coming and putting yourself under the spotlight. First, I may ask our Member of Parliament, when did you first come across autism? Well, I think I first heard about autism uh, long before I was a Member of Parliament. I was a councillor for 12 years on the London Borough of Haybury before I became uh, a Member of Parliament. And even then, uh, parents were coming to me raising their concerns about autism and how it was affecting their children. And of course, in those days, there wasn't very much known about autism like there is today. And so, for me, it was something unusual, and I didn't really have the answers. And Father Hingham, I'm not sure today we have all the answers, and, and that's why having Autism Sunday, and that's why ensuring that people like myself, who are members of Parliament, indeed Mr Cameron, who I know that Ivan has been up to uh, present a ribbon to number 10 this week, it's important that we, we find out more and we help to discover how this condition can be gradually eliminated so that uh, everyone has the equal chance in life to, to lead an equal life and that's something that I'm committed to and I know all of my colleagues in Parliament are as well. What were your impressions of the First World Autism Awareness Day celebration? we held at the Francis Barnes School for Girls, and I know you came along to support us. Well, I'd like to um, say it is magnificent, from my point of view, that Ivan has done so much, and his wife, together, to form the foundation and to establish Autism Sunday, but also to, to be given the support of uh, Francis Barnes School. Uh, where is Julian? Right. There he is. And uh, I know that Francis Barnes will be happy and committed uh, to this. I'm sure that's uh, largely to do with the fact that Ivan is also a teacher at the school. Uh, but it's wonderful that in the heart of our community, and indeed in this parish, that the school is leading the way in highlighting the importance of understanding autism and promoting the importance of, of finding solutions. And what would be your message today to parents, carers, and the Romford Autism Community. I think the message I would give to all parents uh, with children, uh, whether it's autism or some other condition they have, is that every child's life is of value. And uh, you should never give up on children. You should never give up on any human being. And whatever uh, the condition may be, uh, I think that the world moves forward and technology and uh, science uh, develops solutions to and I think that every life is sacred, every life is God-given, and we should cherish human life and always ensure that uh, whatever type of human being one is, it's to be cherished and to be loved by those around. And that is why I always support organisations. I know RAGS does a magnificent job here in our borough uh, to, to promote this and to work with parents and with children to ensure that children that suffer from autism are loved and cared for and helped just as much as any other child would be, and that is surely the right thing to do. Can we say thank you, Andrew, for being with us today and for your pledge of encouragement and support in the future? Thank you very much. And now I'd like to pass to Anne Might, who is the Chief Executive Officer of RAGS. <coughs> What are the aims and objectives of RAGS? I think our first aim is to create an awareness of, of the condition. There are lots of myths surrounding autism and um, our, it's our belief that a, a diagnosis of autism doesn't need to be a tragedy. The tra 
tragedy is when the right kind of support and acceptance <laughs> of our young people isn't there. So our aim is to support the family as a whole because it is just something that impacts on the individual child. The ripples of a diagnosis of autism spreads far and wide between the family, <coughs> the immediate family, but also the rest of our community. Can you tell us a little about RAS? What is RAS? We, um, RAS started up uh, over eight years ago. A small group of parents decided that they needed some mutual support. So they went to a local headmistress of the Ravenswood School, which is a special school, and said, you know, it was the dad actually that drove this. They said, you know, you have these coffee mornings during the day and the mum can come along, but what about us dads? So uh, Margaret got some funding and they started up a fortnightly group for the children was cared for by the staff and the parents had an opportunity to meet and share information. From that very small acorn, this huge thing that RAS has become um, some eight years or hence, has seen us become a really strong voice for families with autism. What would you like personally to share with us well, I think, as I said earlier, a, a diagnosis of autism doesn't have to be a tragedy. Our children are different, but different isn't a bad thing. Difference is a fantastic thing. We need to celebrate our unique young people. And sometimes, you know, in these austere times, people say, we need more money, we need more money. And money, believe me, we all know, is part of the solution, but the bigger part of the solution is education and raising awareness. Our kids can do fantastically well. They can reach their potential if, if they're given the opportunity to, and that's about um, encouraging 